Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix FPS drops in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5 and also boost FPS and performance in Fortnite Season 5. This one is going to be a quick and simple guide but will help all of you guys drastically boost FPS and also get lower input delay in Fortnite. Happy New Year to all of you guys, make sure you stay safe and enjoy yourself. I don't want to take more of you guys time with long intros but guys 90.7% of you watching my videos are not subscribed. It's not fair guys if you are watching the videos then make sure to subscribe as well. So make sure to press that subscribe button right now and also don't forget the bell icon. But with all of that out of the way let's get this video started. So before starting any of the optimizations guys make sure that you create a system restore point. I'm not gonna go ahead and show it inside of this video as I have shown it in every single video that I have previously made. So if you guys don't know how to create a system restore point just check out one of those videos. I just want to keep this video really short and simple. So we are going to be starting off by optimizing our epic games launcher so that we can have better performance in Fortnite. So in order to do that head down to your start menu and search for epic games launcher. Go ahead and open it up. So once the epic game launcher opens up go into the friend section and then click on social settings. Then just scroll down and make sure that show notifications is turned off that is make sure that it's set to grey and not blue. So once that is done close out of this and this is going to disable any notifications that you could be receiving while gaming which will cause fps drops if set to on so that's why we have disabled those. After you guys have done that go into the settings and then for this one make sure that minimize to system tray is unchecked. This is going to make sure that when we hit close it does not minimize epic game launcher to the system tray but instead closes it fully from the background as well so that we can have better performance in the games that we play. After that make sure that run when my computer starts is unchecked as well so that it does not start epic games launcher whenever we boot our pc hence decreasing our boot time so that we can have a faster boot when we start our pc and as you guys all know you can always go ahead and open up the epic game launcher whenever you want to play fortnite after all of that is done scroll down and this one is optional enable cloud saves but if you guys want each and every bit of performance out of your game then you guys want to disable this as well for me i'm just gonna go ahead and leave it on then scroll down again and go into the desktop notifications for this one make sure that both of these boxes are unchecked so that we don't get any annoying notifications which cause performance drops as well so after you guys have done all of these steps you guys should be able to see a bit of fps boost and also performance increase in fortnite once that is done go back and then close out of the epic games launcher and as you guys can see it did not minimize into the taskbar instead it closes out fully even from the background Moving on we are going to be optimizing our CPU so that we can get the maximum performance out of it and also we are gonna be speeding up our boot times. So for that head down to your start menu and search for run. Go ahead and open it up and inside of here type in msconfig. Then click on ok and once this box opens up make sure that selective startup is checked. Then go into boot and go into the advanced options. For this one check the number of processors and set it to the highest value available for you. For some people it will be 2, for some people it will be 4, for others 8 and for others 12. For me it's 4 so I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Just make sure that you set it to the highest value available for you. Once that is done hit OK and after that make sure that no GUI boot is selected. This is going to make sure that there is no windows logo showing up while you are booting hence speeding up your boot time. After that for the timeout set it to 5 seconds and then hit apply. Once you guys have done that go into services and make sure that hide all microsoft services is checked so that you don't accidentally disable any important setting that might need to run in the background for your PC to work properly. So once you guys have done that make sure that anything that you guys don't want to start up with your windows is unchecked except for some services like the battle eye services and anti-cheat service which are required to play fortnite and all of your graphics card services for me all of the nvidia services for you guys who are using amd cards all of the amd services so for me i don't want to start up google updates every time with my windows that's what i have disabled i also don't want to start up rockstar game libraries and team viewer so therefore i have unchecked them so anything that you don't want to start up just go ahead and uncheck them. After that hit apply and then go into startup. Click on open task manager and you guys know the drill just go ahead and right click on anything that you guys don't want to start up with your windows and click on disable. After you guys have done that close out of this 
hit apply hit ok and exit without restart because we are going to be restarting later on so after you guys have done all of those steps we are going to be optimizing our nvidia control panel settings to get the best fps in fortnite for all of you amd users watching this video you can skip to the next part inside of the video or you can watch this video on screen i will provide the link down below in the description for the best amd radeon settings as for the nvidia users just follow me as you are doing right now right click on your desktop and open up the nvidia control panel so once this opens up make sure that you guys are on the adjust image settings with preview once this opens up make sure that you guys are using the use the advanced 3d image settings check this and then click on take me there after that go into program settings and make sure that select a program to customize is set to fortnite if you guys can't find fortnite inside of here that's simple just go ahead and click on add find fortnite inside of here and click on add selected program i have already added it so i'm gonna close out of this and then for the image sharpening make sure that image sharpening is set to off i know a lot of people use sharpen to 0.50 and ignore film grain to 0.17 but the problem is that for most of the people these settings will cause fps drops and a lot of stutters so i highly recommend you guys to just go ahead and set this to off then hit ok then for the ambient occlusion fortnite does not support this feature but in any case you guys always want to turn it off anisotropic filtering anti-aliasing fx aa anti-aliasing gamma correction and anti-aliasing mode all of them make sure that all of them are turned off all of these are useless settings that we don't want to be running while playing fortnite so just go ahead and make sure that all of them are turned off after that background application max frame rate we always want this one set to off as well we don't want to be capping other applications while we are playing Fortnite and we only want our GPU to focus more on Fortnite and not the background apps. So make sure that this one is turned off. For the CUDA GPUs, just go ahead and expand it down and make sure that your graphics card is selected. Then hit OK. Then scroll down and go into the low latency mode. Now this one is interesting. So if your PC is able to give you guys more FPS than your refresh rate, then you guys want to set it to ultra to get the best performance out of the low latency mode. However, if you guys are getting FPS drops, stutters and overall low FPS than your refresh rate, then you guys want to set it to on. So basically for me, I am using a 60 hz monitor. However, my PC is able to give me a lot more FPS constantly than 60. Therefore, I'm gonna be setting it to ultra to get the maximum amount of performance out of it. After that, max frame rate limit, just go ahead and set it to off. We don't want to be capping our FPS from inside of here, but we want to cap our FPS from inside of Fortnite itself. If you guys use this to cap the FPS, then it's going to introduce a lot of input delay that we really don't want. After that, hit OK. And then for the OpenGL rendering GPU, once again, make sure that your graphics card is selected. Optimize for compute performance, just go ahead and set it to off because we want our graphics card to be optimizing Fortnite and not any other graphical task. Then for the power management mode, it's simple, just go ahead and set it to prefer maximum performance. Then for the shader cache, just go ahead and set it to off. For those of you guys who are using older and slower hard disk drives, turning the shader cache off can give you guys a lot more FPS and overall better performance. Then for the texture filtering negative load bias, just go ahead and set it to allow. Then for the texture filtering quality, this is going to be one of the most important settings that we are going to be changing today. If you guys are using a really old CPU and a better graphics card as compared to your CPU, so basically you guys are getting a CPU bottleneck, then you guys always want to set it to high quality or quality. For most of the people, it will be high quality. This is basically going to push our GPU to do more work, hence giving you guys more FPS. However, on the flip side, if you guys are using a high-end PC and an overall better CPU and GPU combo, then you guys want to set it to high performance for the maximum performance out of it, if that makes sense. So basically, for low-end PCs, you guys want to set it to quality or high quality. For high-end, set it to high performance. After that, go into the threaded optimization, set it to auto, triple buffering, set it to off, vertical sync, we always want it off because we don't want any input delay, and virtual reality pre-rendered frames, just set it to 1. After all of that is done, hit apply. And after all of those changes are applied, go into the adjust desktop size and position. So for this one, you guys always want to set select a scaling mode to no scaling for the lowest input delay. After you guys have done that, for the perform scaling on, some people will have the display option just like me, some people will only have the GPU option and some people will have both GPU and display option. It basically depends on your graphics card. So for the people who can choose display, I highly recommend you guys to choose display because this is going to give you guys better FPS and lower input delay. And after you guys have selected the display, just go ahead and make sure that this box override the scaling mode set by games and programs is checked. But for those of you guys who only have the option for GPU, just go ahead and select GPU 
but then make sure that this box is unchecked after you guys have done that basically hit apply and make sure that the changes are applied after all of that is done go into the desktop and make sure that enable developer settings are checked this is not going to help you guys much but it should help in some cases so for this one it's going to be set to restrict access but you guys want to set it to allow access to the gpu performance counters to all users then hit apply it might blink your screen a couple of times but that's completely normal so once you guys have done all of those settings, close out of this and now we can move on to the other optimization. So for this next one, we are going to be changing some advanced system settings. So for that, go down to your start menu and search for this PC. Go ahead and hit on properties. And once this opens up, go into the advanced system settings. First, go into the remote tab. And for this one, make sure that this one is checked. Hit advanced and make sure that allow this computer to be controlled remotely is unchecked. After you guys have done that, hit OK and uncheck this one again then hit apply this is going to basically make sure that all of the remote assistant services running in the background are closed therefore we can have better fps in the games that we want to play after that go into the advanced section then under the performance click on settings and for this one you guys basically want to set it to adjust for best performance you can leave it as it is but if you guys want you can check some of these options inside of here personally i always check show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen font that's basically what i check then hit apply and after you guys have done that, go into the advanced and make sure that the adjust for best performance of is set to programs and not the background services. Sometimes Windows automatically sets it to background services which can cause huge FPS drops if you guys are not aware of that. So make sure that it's always set to programs. Before recording this video the second time, basically it was set to background services and I didn't even notice. So make sure that this is set to programs. After that, hit on change and automatically manage, make sure that this is checked. Hit OK, then click on OK, hit apply, hit OK again, hit OK again. And now basically at this point you guys want to click on restart now and restart your PC. I'm not going to be restarting because I'm recording the video. But basically this is the point that you guys want to restart your PC to make sure that every setting is successfully applied. So yeah guys those are all of the optimizations inside of this guide. If you guys enjoyed the video and maybe it helps you guys then make sure to drop a like down below. And as I said guys 90.7% of you watching my videos are not even subscribed. So make sure that you press that subscribe button before leaving. If you guys will be buying anything from the Fortnite items shop then make sure to use code Ragnatic or use anyone else's code make sure to support your favorite creator because making content is not easy if you guys want to talk to me or just keep up to date as to what i am doing and what i am working on then make sure to follow me on twitter i tweet dope stuff the link can be found in the description down below help others and spread positivity whenever you can and with that i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome